Hi friends, welcome to Trending Places. Today we showcase you about Maui, Hawaii. Maui is the second biggest Hawaiian island, often known as the Valley Isle. The island is known for its world-famous beaches, the Huliau Valley, with stars of migratory humpback whales during the winter months, palm to table cuisine, and Halikala's breathtaking sunrise and sunset. It's no surprise that Con Nas traveler readers have chosen Maui, best island in the United States, for the past 20 years. Explore Maui's various regions and everything that the island has to offer. Maui has nearly 30 kilometers of magnificent beaches along its 120-mile coastline. White, black, and red sand beaches, renowned surfing and windsurfing sites, and some of the best beaches in the world to just swim, snorkel, and sunbathe can all be found along these world-famous coasts. Many are conveniently located beach parks with lifeguards, picnic areas, and restrooms. Others are undeveloped, off the beaten path, hidden locations. If you are visiting Maui, you'll almost certainly spend some time at the beach. However, don't forget to schedule some time on the sea. With multiple islands offshore and several opportunities for wildlife observations, particularly whales in the winter, Maui's western and southern coastlines are ideal for sailing. Scuba diving, sailing, kayaking, and fishing charters are all excellent ways to go out on the water. One of Maui's most famous beaches is Makina Beach State Park. It is one of Maui's largest, unspoiled beaches, with white sand stretching over three miles. Relax on the beach with nothing but nature around you. Makina, nestled between two black lava outcroppings, gives protection from the trade winds and spectacular views of Malokini and Kahulawe Islands. Big Beach and Little Beach are the two beaches that make up the area. Big Beach is a peaceful alternative to the more busy beaches of Kanapuli and Lahaina, located south of Valia near the Makina Beach and Golf Resort. Little Beach is a secluded bay with no facilities or lifeguard. Despite the fact that nudity is prohibited by state park regulations, Little Beach is commonly used as a nudist beach. Kapolwa Coast and Kanapuli Beach are two other well-known beaches. Lua Falls is one of Maui's most unique and accessible waterfalls, visible from the highway and adjacent to the road to Hana. The beautiful Maui waterfall, which is situated among thick tropical greenery and flows 80 feet in two streams is Maui's most photographed waterfall. Oyo Gulch, Makahiku, and Wikani Falls are some of the other well-known waterfalls in the area. Halikala has one of the world's largest dormant volcanic craters, which is around 20 miles in circumference and was formed primarily by erosion. The crater rim rises more than 2,500 feet above the crater flow in some locations. If you're considering a trip to Maui and are wondering whether it's worth it to stop by for a sunrise or sunset at Halikala summit, the answer is definitely. It's well worth the trip regardless of when you go.
Sivarfi, or fire knife dance, is a Samoan tradition that combines the nifoti, or war knife, a Samoan weapon. Tribal artists twirl the weapon and perform other acrobatic stunts that will have you on the edge of your seat as they set the theater ablaze. The Maui Nui Luau also has a fantastic fire dancing presentation. The Sheraton Luau or the Hayat are the finest options if you're staying in Kanapuli. Waikapon, commonly known as Venus Pools Maui, is a hidden gem in Hana, East Maui, that leads to the Venus Pool. Because this trip takes place on private property, make sure you obtain permission to visit the Venus Pool in order to gain legal entry. You'll find these natural pools right adjacent to the coast after a simple 5 minute stroll from the road, and many locals use this site as an exciting place to cliff jump into the water. Once you're in the water, you'll discover a lovely swimming hole. However, be cautious because if a flash flood occurs with heavy rain, you may find yourself in a risky scenario. This lovely swimming hole is vulnerable to flash floods, making the pond dangerous. For a science-based telescope trip, Maui Stargazing offers sunset and stargazing tours within Halikala National Park. Guests follow in their vehicles during a pandemic to study social separation. Halikala is one of the best spots on the planet for viewing astronomical objects. Tiki statues in Hawaii and Polynesia depict the many tiki gods from Hawaiian and Polynesian mythology. They are mostly found in central eastern Polynesia and are carved out of wood or stone. The original tiki figures were sculpted by talented Maori artists who lived on the islands until the early 1800s. Halikala National Park includes the bamboo forest. There are two components to this large park. The top side, with its desert terrain, is the most well-known, although the Kipahulu area is home to Maui's famous bamboo trail. Way sightings on Maui are most common from November through May. Because this is considered peak whale watching season, the best months to spot whales are usually between mid-January and March. We have had our first whale sightings as early as October or late September on rare occasions. Turtle Town, as its name suggests, is a hot spot for sea turtles on Maui. It runs between Nahuna Point and Black Sand Beach, although it refers to Maluakha Beach specifically. Maluakha is the best snorkeling spot in the area, and it is home to a large population of Hawaiian green sea turtles. Hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Do like and subscribe.